Let me start again. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank uh, the sociology department and uh, Beijing University, Beda, uh, and Professor Yu Neng for, uh, for sponsoring me uh, to this. It's a, a pleasure to be in, in Beijing. Uh, xie xie. Um, my paper is in the proceedings, and uh, I will let you read that for, for the details. It introduces and argues for the relevance of a French philosopher of cities to the situation in China today. His name is Henri Lefebvre. He lived roughly 1901 to 1999, roughly the, the 20th century. Um, but before I begin, and, and to think lar on a large scale, historically, as Lefebvre would, and his, his key text, The Production of Space, is chi translated in Chinese, um, I want to, to begin first with, with 6,000 years ago, a city named Uruk, the first large city, the first mega city, was in mod uh, what is now modern day Iraq. They, they had their, their uh, uh, fill of uh, innovations, writing, uh, public works, knowledge, advanced uh, record keeping, specialized division of labor, um, and um, they are now uh, a satellite photograph. Um, so we should ask ourselves, is urbanization sustainable? And we should never take for granted that that is not an oxymoron, that this is not a contradiction in terms. Lefebvre's interest in cities extends much further uh, than, than simply uh, the current era. He approached the city in a holistic way uh, and an integrated approach not only to the city but to the rural regions as well as the production of an entire space, a production of a world. He saw the city as an oeuvre, as a great work, as really the ultimate great work, the last uh, bequest of, of a civilization. Um, and uh, that makes him relevant to the themes at this uh, conference. He, his work stresses people first, and I think that it's all too easy to lose track uh, of people and of the actualization of, of people. Um, he's relevant to the long-term nurture um, of people, of communities, of cities, and their sustainability. His theory of the production of space comes out of the Marxist tradition. It's actually a three-part dialectics. I would advocate to, to people to read Lefebvre with as much uh, vigor and creativity as he read Marx uh, to, to um, uh, give us back a Chinese response. What is, what is the Chinese uh, uh, dialectics? Um, he used this to analyze what he called everyday life, a kind of in-between moments of boredom and alienation and to critique that and to look to social spaces as a, for an antidote. Um, he advocated the right to the city, uh, and um, the right to the city is a, a controversial concept, uh, difficult to implement, but has actually been made into law in a number of, of places. His notion of the production of space turns on um, the relationship between simple everyday practices and habits uh, and perceptions, uh, and w which are usually pitted against planners and geographers and other theories that represent uh, social space, represent space in the cities. But they, they need to come together, he argues, into a lived space of representation. This, in the bottom, is a child's drawing. It really is intended to point you towards the idea of a, um, of a whole uh, worldview um, that essentially our, uh, our, um, we, our social space, our spa what I call a spatialization, um, becomes the problem frame, the, the, the framework within which we seek problems and understand what is possible. It can be under, extended uh, temporally, uh, and we need to, I think, understand the creation of megacities as changing the self-image of our own societies. We're not untouched by moving into megacities. Megacities change us, and that's the lesson uh, of Lefebvre. Um, he, he firmly points us uh, to the historical sweep uh, of different uh, types of city as different ways of life, as different kinds of, 
of everyday life. One thing he usefully does is to reconnect the city with the countryside. As previous speakers uh, um, have argued, and you will, you will hear um, uh, echoes of previous uh, presentations, urbanization has an obvious impact on, on the rural, and it's essential to have a, an, a regional approach, uh, an approach which understands that we are changing rural space as much as building cities. And while cities seem to be somehow more real and concrete, the intangible element uh, is, is, uh, unites both the, the rural and the urban. We can use, and we can find in Lefebvre, the basis for a critique of modernization. It's, we, and in that critique, we can, find, uh, a, we can find support for following, for example, Latin American theorists of multiple modernities. So, that, so really, um, I want to stop hearing apologies from, from uh, people in, in China and Asia. I, your, your modernization is a marvel, uh, as we've heard at this conference. Uh, but I want to move on to dealing with issues and problems. Um, multiple modernities uh, says you start from where you're at, you respond to the context, you produce your own hybrid modernity, uh, and, and you move forward on that uh, basis. We should not expect to be the same, and we should not expect that we will do anything but create further problems down the line by copying um, existing uh, patterns and trying to, in a sense, fit ourselves into the shoes of others always an uncomfortable situation. This is, this is especially important because Lef what Lefebvre tells us is that cities and social space is a nexus of is issues. If we can deal well with this, we hit a, a large number of bases. And we need to also understand that when we talk about con uh, con relationships like the urban and the rural or controversies like the relationship between the state and markets, we're also necessarily talking about space, about land, landed capital. Uh, and we're also talking about questions of citizenship. Previous speakers uh, uh, spoke to the incomplete citizenization, the incomplete citizenship of uh, urban uh, migrants. Um, we're talking about the, the point of intersection between habits day to day and plans for, uh, for anything to be sustainable. It depends in the end on how it's used, on how it's activated and how it's cared for. The implications of Lefebvre's um, work, I think, for us is he points us towards inclusive processes and to no, uh, a focus on not just quality, but fulfillment, on disalienation, on engagement, uh, a real uh, focus on the, the, um, the nurturing of, of individuals. He asks us to be mindful of values. He points out the historical specificity of narrowly uh, and solely economic registers of value um, to accommodate other um, regimes of value. He points us to the local and cultural context, as we've heard in other papers, um, notably about uh, un underdeveloped regions and about mountainous areas. And he also points us to not just theory and plans, but gives us an organic uh, understanding of how they can can be interconnected and, and work together uh, dialectically with habits and also with broader mindsets. I'll stop there. I'm happy to say more in more detail. I can refer you to a book called Lefebvre, Love and Struggle. Um, for more information, I've mentioned the translation. I'll conclude again by saying thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you.